Oh yeah. What's going on everybody? It's me, your boy, the fluffy game of the round one. The one, the only. Missed you guys. Took a week off as you guys saw. But I'm back and I'm ready to do another midweek quick fix. Are you guys ready? You know I am. But I think I'm gonna pick up a buddy of mine. So let's go pick this mother effer up and go hit up some video stores. Oh yeah. Can't touch this. All right guys, so I picked up my guest of the day for the quick fix, Leo the video game guy. And wouldn't you know it, just like that, this guy's already fucking hungry. Yeah man, I need to get some wiener schnitzel, man. I'm trying to get some chili cheese fries. Oh, you wanna go to wiener schnitzels? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, can I get 10 packets of mustard? So you know, what I was thinking guys is let's talk about our favorite Donkey Kong game. Is it 10? Yeah, 10 packets of mustard, please. You love your mustard. Yeah. Right on. Mm -hmm. This video is brought to you by Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> yes. Thanks, man. You scared that guy. That guy all of a sudden is like, was I being recorded? <laughs> Seriously. He like stopped and was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to call my manager. So anyways, we're headed on over. No, we're not headed anywhere, motherfucker. Okay, so here's the question, guys. Here's a question for you. I want to know what you and you, and you and you and you and you, I want to know what you guys and yours and yours. Fucking you guys. Favorite Call of Duty game is. Oh, what? No, I never played it. My favorite Call of Duty game, and there's a lot to choose from. I'm an OG. I've been playing since the first one on PC, is Call of Duty 2. Plain and simple, because it's badass, based in World War, based in you know the World War II era, and probably the most intense Call of Duty game I've ever played. Nice. What about you guys? Tell me what you guys think. Comment in the comment section below. While we head over to Book Off right here. You want to go to Book Off? Yeah, let's go to Book Off. Oh shit! All right. Book Off, Book Off, Book Off with that crazy ass, 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 ass pri 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 prices. Sins. In those goddamn Sins. planes. <laughs> and just like that, OGP would like the fact that I'm eating a corn dog. Oh, OGP gonna get real jealous. Oh, fucking fish is how, you get, how you gonna bite it like that? Oh, uh, no. That no. would hurt. That would hurt the OGP right no. there. Let's go check out the local book off store. You can't touch this. Man, it rained really good last night. Looks like we might get a little more rain today. Ready to go inside the book off, Mr. Leo, the I video game to. guy? I want to, but I think I'm going to be hit by this car right here. <laughs> oh, you mean that car? Yeah, the car that was yeah. 50 miles an hour in the parking lot. It wasn't going that fast. Four miles an hour. It was more like 40. I'm almost certain it was 40 miles an hour. Well, you are a little stoned. It might be that. Smoke weed every day. How much is it? 90 bucks? Wow. I'm gonna go check out the games. No, you're not. Bang. We're at these soon. Chibi Robo's gone down. It's only like 48 bucks. And there goes Leo. Straight to the DVD section. Oh, this is set up a little differently. It's a little different over here. Dude. All right, it's too crowded over there. I'm gonna go check out. Let's see if I can find some out of print DVDs over here. Thirty bucks for a tin case of the Chronicle Donald Volume One. These can go up for up to a hundred to two hundred bucks. This one, not too sure, but I'll have to look up and check it out. All right, so I just checked online real quick. This thing is worth about forty bucks in mint condition, so. Definitely gonna have to pass on that right there. Yeah. All right, so we just got out of the book off over here. Yeah, man, I picked, you, you got a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I picked up Madden 17. I was waiting for it to, you know, I don't wanna pay no $59.99 for this, so $34.99. Oh, shit. Not bad. Nice. And I also picked up, uh, this is uh, Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation, The Complete Series. Pretty sure this is out of print, kind of rare, like for, like the Complete dude. Series and shit. Chappelle Show. Oh, CD yeah, one. I love you know, that shit. Cents, you know, I'm going to go home and have a little glass of wine, let me smoke a bowl, and watch some Chappelle Show. You'll watch that whole season, like, all like in one night. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, I've binge watched them all. Like, I've seen them all, but I sold yeah. them, like, 
two weekends ago, and I was oh, like, what okay. did I sell them? Yeah, that's And then stuff. I saw this last minute. This is the complete Woo! series of the original 70s Battlestar Galactica television I watched series. it when I was a kid. Dude, I just got the complete series of Battlestar Galactica, like the, the more recent one that came out in the early 2000s. So uh -huh. I'm pretty, when I saw this, I was like, dude. Picking this up, twenty five bucks. Beedy 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 All right, so let's. Head you know on what that is? Well, what? That's the robot from Battlestar Galactica. Beedy 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 beedy. I picked up one game inside there. Picked up this N sixty four game. I had it before, but I sold it to a friend for eight bucks back in the day when it was only worth eight bucks. It's now worth twenty five dollars these days, and I couldn't pass it up because it is a nice, clean copy. Look at the label on that. How to get it? Got the second one. I've had the second one forever. So, now I got both of them. And, uh, what do you say we head on over to Bargain Hunters? Because Renee just scored a bunch of new games. So, uh, let's go to Poway. Can't touch this. Alright guys, we made it over to Poway. It's already dark for the day. It's just after 5 o'clock. I can't wait to see what Renee got. He scored a bunch of video games just recently. And I'm looking to spend a little bit of money inside there. Are you wearing a t-shirt of yourself? Come join me. Where are the video games at? Fluffy! This is our last stop, man. We better find this duck costume. The duck costume? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, uh, look at that label on that Mario Kart. Holy oh, cow. Shit. It gets expensive in here. Wow. <laughs> Final fight, too. Look at that. 30 bucks. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, shit, like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I know. It's like too good. That yeah, is like, a like, great deal right there. The <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, no, I already what you got over here? You got Mega Man 7, oh, R-Type 3, wow. Dracula X, that's a pretty good deal. Wow, oh, wow. Cool. Mega Man 7, holy cow. You gotta be mad, Fluffy. What? I put the Bubble Bubble be... 2 up here for her to hold them, and she sold them to CNC. She thought she was holding them for them. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you catch me on? R-Type 3. On SNES, you said it was like 40 bucks. And Mariah told you, it's like, I, I bet you this one is good. Go look in the show because how much I priced it with. Caught the fluffy one slipping. See what happens? Holy cow! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got another bubble bobble. That's the on one. PS1. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Leo. Yeah. What you got? Sealed. Nice. All right, I'm going to ask Leo because, like, you know, I mean, if Leo agrees, I'll do the deal. But, like, I'm going to ask Leo. He said he's paying me top dollar with 100 bucks. I thought I want 200. What? What would you pay top dollar for? For this one, for 99.99. That's, that's like I want 200 for it. Oh yeah. He says I'm crazy. You think I should pay 100? <laughs> he's gonna give it to you for 100 dollars? No, seven. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at you. He's like, like trying to understand. <laughs> am I gonna be honest or do I got a friend's back? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, I feel like either way a decision to make. If I, if I'm dishonest, <laughs> I look like an asshole. If we don't have my friends back, still look like an asshole. Oh, you got Bubble Bubble for the sake of Saturn as well. Jesus yep. Christ. And then I know you were really hot on these. Oh, yeah. Custis Revenge. Beat them and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> At the bachelor party. Beat That's what I'm eat. all about. And then uh, this game. This guy needs to put this aside. It's oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, it's sold. This one is not. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks for holding it for me, Renee. Damn. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> but Wait, I did what? get you a copy what? of uh, Doctor Mario, which I know you did. No, it's hard to come. That's by. messed he, he, up. You say bubble bubble too for me. He got you, Doctor Mario. Nice clean copy. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many Atari games? Do you oh yeah. Have? Look at this one. Check that out. Oh my. Oh my god. Should we show him another good one? I'm taking a grocery cart full <laughs> of Atari games. And a box down there. That box down there. And a Sega Master System, all mint condition. Oh, and this wow. is only a small percentage of what we got. Yeah, those games I haven't seen a lot of. Those Master System games are some ones. I, you know what? I never really... It's kind of funny because I buy a lot of storage units, but for some reason I never see Mario Master System. Parasol Stars. Is that the Bubble Bobble? Nice. I got two of that. He has two of them. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh, it's already sold. Sorry. Yeah, like, sorry I got a guy that really wants this. going to pay top dollar. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to see a cool Atari game? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Why not? Let's see a cool Atari game? Yeah. Totally. It's like a few hundred games on it. Oh wow. It's like the, the first modded. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It's got the paper with yeah, all the. Fluffy said this was trash. This was trash. <laughs> you know, was like... 
You know, I just, just haven't had time to throw it away. Yeah, if you want me to just, I can throw it away for you on the way out. I, you, know. you know, you got like a guest <laughs> in my store, so that'd be great. We're checking all these things. <laughs> Renegade Special Crime. I must have another box. The New this. Zealand story. Yeah, the game is done. Chuck so. Rock 2. Those are all pretty rare. It's like there's a track and field for the Atari. Oh, nice. Nice. And I got the cartridge here somewhere, too. <laughs> That's a button smasher game right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I was just getting ready to leave Bargain Hunters, and I came across another fellow YouTuber who does video game related stuff, yeah. streaming games. Uh, you collect magic cards and stuff like that. So, guys, go check out his channel. What is your channel called? Link. Blink, it's B-U-L-I-N-K. He just started, so go over and check out his channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, it's cool. I'm telling you, subscribe. Do it right now, right below. <laughs> Click, subscribe. Do it, do it now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, guys, we just got our bargain hunters over here. Renee had a bunch of new video games inside there. Unfortunately, most oh of them were really freaking expensive. Oh my. I did pick up one game inside there. I picked up Strider Returns Yep. right there. Nice clean copy. I love Strider. I love the original arcade game. I miss Renee. I wish he was just here with us. Right now. You know now. what? It's really weird because you guys are just sitting out here in the car and I don't know what you're doing. I probably don't want to know what you're doing. <laughs> but it's awkward and uncomfortable. And you gotta go. You gotta go. I call the cops. I don't want to call the cops, but I'll call the cops if I have to. So it's a little weird. I understand. And it's like the hand holding, it's awkward. I'm sorry. Yes. We probably should stop holding hands in the dark parking lot. <laughs> stuff. Right. We'll see you guys in the next spot. Oh, and he got a nice hat. Star Check that out. Hook yeah. me up for only 10 bucks. Hey, Daniel, I'll call you back oh, one yeah. Minute, okay? oh. We gotta go. We gotta go. Can't okay, touch this. All right, guys. We're at the next destination of the day. You know it's night now. And we're over here at the Goodwill Bookstore. Hopefully they got something new. It's been a couple weeks since I've been over here. What you got? Chocolate bars. You got, oh, you got chocolate bars? Here. How much are you asking? Five for recovery center. For recovery center? Yeah. I, I guess I'll do that for the recovery center. All right, let's head on in and see what they got over here at the bookstore. Are you interested? Nah, I could use their own Blu ray. Oh, wow. Can't touch this. I didn't find anything inside there, although I did pick up a chocolate candy bar for five bucks. Oh, yeah. This guy found some stuff inside the bookstore. What'd you, what'd you get inside there? Did you buy any books? Yeah. About something more, more educational? Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't do books. We don't, we don't read. This is the year 2016. Um, Complete 12th season of South Park on Blu-ray, not oh, bad. Wow. Complete 13th season on Blu-ray, South Park, $5.99 each. On um, Blu-ray? Blu Holy cow. Not bad, so I picked them up. $5.99? Yeah, I don't see the Blu-rays of South Parks out and about used very often at all. I see the DVD sets. South Park is not on Netflix anymore, neither is The Simpsons. So, uh, you know, you gotta pick them up, man, when you see I didn't them. Know. I didn't know Smurfs was on South Park. Careful with that disc, bro. Holy smurf, that's a nice clean copy. So anyways, that's all Leo the Video Game got over here at the Goodwill Bookstore. We're going to hit up one more spot for the night. We're going to hit up one more Goodwill. It's a good one. You should find some stuff over there. You can't touch this. All right, well, we're over here at the last destination of the day. We're at the Goodwill in Rancho Bernardo. Bam. I only got two games so far. Pokemon Stadium and the Strider 2 game. So yeah. let's go inside and see what they got over here. Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. Gotta get like something. Mm. Alright, looks like Leo beat me to the movie, so let's see what we got left. Hilarious three pack. Alright. Got those already though. Good day to die hard. That movie fucking bombed. Nothing but trouble. That's a good one right there. You can't touch this. I came out up to Hannah, but this guy picked up a couple DVDs yeah, inside a there. Couple DVDs and Little Giants. You remember that one with uh, Ed O'Neill, Rick Moranis? Yeah, that's bad. a good one. You don't see Rick Moranis anymore these days. Got the Blade Collection. Yeah, you know the thing about uh, Rick Moranis. I'll tell you after this actually. Picked up Screamers. 
It's kind of cool. It's a post-apocalyptic kind of sci-fi thing. It takes place in the year 2078. Oh, wow. I heard it was pretty good. And uh, we also got Young Guns uh, 1 yeah. and 2. Man, Young Guns 1 and 2 back yeah, in the day know. when Emilio Estevez was ruling Hollywood. You know? Emilio! So the reason why you don't see uh, Rick Moranis actually much in Hollywood anymore is his wife died of cancer, like back in like oh, I think the early two right. thousands or I something that was like that. Martin Short. No, no, it was definitely Rick Moranis. Martin Short lost his wife too. I mean, a lot of people die, you know. It's a shame. But uh, is yeah. that why he's not not around anymore? Yeah, Rick so he so so she died, and he you know needed to take care of his kids and stuff, you know, because he had kids. Oh wow. So he kind of you know became full time dad and kind of left Hollywood, and you know it's kind of kind of Rick Moranis. We miss you, buddy. We miss you. It's a good man. It's a good man. Miss you. Anyways, that's going to do it for this week's Midweek Quick Fix. I am your host. I am your boy. I am the round one. I am the fluffy gamer. And I am... <laughs> <laughs> Leo, the video game guy. Peace! Pa! Jump up, bitch! There DVDs back there. Come on, Fluffy, you kidding me? Unbelievable. This guy. Hi, I need to report a theft. It's a big guy. Brittany found out I took my wall too! Oh shit! I'm going to jail! I can't play video games in jail! I'm sorry, Renee! The devil made me do it! I'll bring it back! I'll bring it back! After I'm done playing it. My, 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 my music hit me so hard! Makes me say, oh my lord! Oh yeah, double bubbles. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When I'm mine to run and do like me, it feels good. When you know you're down, I'll see you don't hold away from the oak down. And I'm I almost forgot to show everything that I got. Pokemon Stadium. Strider Returns. Journey from Darkness. And this nice five dollar chocolate bar. Oh yeah. And also, I got this bad boy. Yeah, I paid three hundred fifteen dollars, and I think it was worth every penny. I told you, homeboy, can't touch all you fools out there trying to talk shit about OGP, trying to say that OGP is a hobbit. That's not cool. He's not a hobbit. He's the coolest motherfucker in the world, and sometimes. Yes, he may have a best friend named Gandalf who happens to be a wizard. And ho ho hold on one second. <laughs> hey, bro, H how are you not a hobbit again? Okay. Okay, all right, man. All right. Love you too. OGP is not a hobbit.